Hey guys, welcome to the video. In this video, Link is wearing complete evil spirit armor set, which gives us complete three level stealth as well as bone weapon proficiency buff, which basically means we will deal 1.8 times more damage when we use any weapons that are fused with bone parts, for example, Molduga jaws or give the bone arrow. Unfortunately, you cannot upgrade this armor, so it's basically like a glass cannon. But this armor actually looks pretty cool as well as it deals a massive damage. So yeah, I think completing all of those Lome Labyrinth mages for this armor is actually worth it. Here you can see all three parts of the armor where each of them will give you a level 1 stealth buff. But when you wear them together, you will get that bone weapon damage buff as well as three level stealth. So we will be uh, completing all three Lome Labyrinths in tiers of the kingdom. Basically there's like six mages and three boss fights which will make us travel over all type of altitudes. We will literally go from sky to surface to depths to complete these mages and I will be demonstrating how you can do it super easily even if you are just at the beginning phase of the game with four hearts and one stamina wheel. Just in case, please have these things ready as you may need these items. Get some equipments or armor or food so you get protected from the cold. Get some stamina recovery foods as well as some zonai charges so you can travel much farther when you are on air in paraglider or zonai devices. Also we can keep some fairies in our inventory so we don't get one shot at when we are low on hearts or have weak armors as we will be facing level 3 flux constructs in this mages as final boss. So without wasting any more time, let's start our journey to conquering all Lome Labyrinth mages starting with North Lome Labyrinth. For that we will travel to the Picta Stone Grove Sky View Tower. When you launch yourself with that tower, you can see that huge flying block of cube on sky. That's our target. Drop to the nearest sky island, gather all zonai parts that are available around you, make a flying vehicle with fans attached at a 45 degree angle, as well as attach both batteries and the steering stick to it. Now fly straight east like me to that small zone. Kill all enemies so they do not disturb you. Now, as I am showing you on the map, our destination is this island on this east. Gather new batteries and now attach your fans, steering stick batteries to another floating cube and go for the next sky island like shown on the video. Drop onto that island, now go to the dispenser, use at least one or two zonai charges so you get at least a wing and a cart. This will make our traveling much easier later. If you want, you can also activate the shrine quest on this island, so you can fast travel to it anytime or whenever you want. Now, go to the north part of this island, you will see another island on front of you. As I am showing you a spot on telescope, you will have to jump and reach this spot by paragliding. When you are here, stand on the edge like me and use your ascent ability to reach the middle part of this island. Now cut all those tree roots so you can make a clear way outside. You will also find the shrine rock for the shrine that you just activated previously. If you want you can take this uh, to the shrine there and complete this quest but in this video we will just go for the North Lome Labyrinth Island right now. Gather all available zonai parts around you. Take out a cart and a wing from your inventory. Attach the wing on top of the cart and make a flying vehicle like me as shown on the video. You can also attach fans, batteries and steering stick to the floating cube near you as well to reach our destination but wing will make our travel super easy. Now fly for the Lome Sky Island that we can see. If your battery is depleted don't waste extra zonai charges like me. Just let the wing carry you as far as it can as it will automatically take you near those floating rocks. Land on one of them and use the ascent ability to get to the North Lome Sky Island. 
activate the sky island shrine we will now drop to the maze on surface complete it and then travel back here on sky island to complete this one open your map and mark the exact same spot that i've marked on this video close the map and dive to it by dropping from an edge when you reach closer to that location stand on top of that spot you will see two lights showing you a path drop down climb up the ladder go straight and climb up stairs and here's your shrine you will have to melt this ice here i had a fire element shield so i used this method to melt ice you can just use any fire element weapon shield or just drop a wood near it and use flint or fire fruit to start a fire as well so this ice will melt now activate the terminal in front of uh, the shrine which will activate our maze on the sky if you wait a bit too long here you will get attacked by this gloomy hand like enemies avoid them and travel to the top sky north lome island shrine that we just activated earlier after traveling to the sky north lome labyrinth island activate the terminal it will start our maze activate the quest from adventure log so this quest is marked on the map keep your stamina foods ready as you may need them as i am showing you on the video you can jump and use paraglider for a small boost to get to the top start climbing you can stand on this small edges to recover your stamina slowly climb to the top if you eat any speed boosting food or wear climber armor it will benefit you on this maze you can just use your stamina recovery foods whenever you need them while getting to the top these walls with red ledges are the only climbable walls here you can't climb other walls when you're at the top if you have travel medallion here it can save you a lot of time by not having to climb repeatedly activate any terminal that you like by diving down from top hopefully you will not be like me and waste a fairy unnecessarily here keep activating terminals this way just travel back to the sky island shrine then climb up top and then drop down to activate terminals This time I am using a level 3 speed elixir so I can reach top faster and also I am using my stamina recovery foods. As I have already said, unfortunately these walls aren't climbable. So either you solve the maze by gliding or do it like me and travel to the shrine or the travel medallion on top and then climb to the top and activate terminal by diving down from there. Activating all four terminals, now you can see that a uh, gust of wind is strong and it can easily carry you to the top. When at the top, activate the terminal and it will open the labyrinth on the depths. It will be a boss fight now. You can just dive to get uh, directly to the boss fight on depths. I will only include one single boss fight in this video. As I am weak now and have low stats and weapons, so I will include this fight here on this video and on next two matches I will skip the fight. You can just skip the boss fight here to see the rewards or skip to the next labyrinth by clicking on timestamps. When you are at the depth, it is a good idea to use your bright bloom seeds to light up the area. As I don't have any good weapon to fight against the boss, 
I will fuse the diamond that I just got from that previous shrine on a weapon so I can kill the boss in this run. I also have a few bomb fruits which will help me. I'm fast forwarding this fight so you can get the basic idea here. But you can slow down the video if you really want to see the whole fight. This boss isn't that difficult if you jump timely to dodge its ground smash attacks. When it goes to the sky, just use recall ability so you can get to it by standing on a box that it throws. Hopefully you can kill it easily. Killing this boss will unlock a terminal. Activating that will give you a treasure chest where you will get the evil spirit griefs armor, which is the leg piece of this armor. Now let's go for the south lome labyrinth maze. To get there, just travel to the Ger Gerudo Canyon sky view tower. Equip some armor to get heat or cold resistance. In this case, it's night time, so I will equip a cold resistance shield. After launching from the tower, you can immediately spot the cubic shaped labyrinth on the sky there. Just drop to the nearest island here as well. Now, gather zonai parts and build a flying vehicle with rocket and fans attached to the wing. If you have a few Zonai charges, you can easily use this to travel directly to the South Lome Labyrinth Sky Island like I'm showing on this video. When you're close, just drop down to the shrine to activate it so you can first travel to it after completing the maze on the surface. Now mark the exact same spot on the map as I've shown in this video. It will be exactly in between those red glooms as you can spot them on the map. Now dive there. You will see there's a tunnel between these glooms and from the top you can just slide into it without touching these glooms uh, by using your paraglider and if you do not touch uh, those glooms you will not lose any HP. Now get inside and you will find the shrine and the terminal there. Activating the terminal is enough and you can move on to the sky maze now but this is a blessing shrine so let's get the rewards quickly. Now, travel to the South Lome Labyrinth Sky Island using the shrine. If you want, you can complete this shrine as well. But as for me, I will just go and activate the terminal for the maze. Select the quest from your adventure log so the terminals gets marked in your map. Just start climbing on the spot that I've shown on the video. You can choose left or right whatever you want 
and you can rest on this edges as well to recover your stamina. When you are at the top, as I've said earlier, if you have a travel medallion, you can place one here. But in this particular maze, it's not that important as we can just ascend our way to the top. Now, jump down to a terminal below. After activating the terminal, you can see that there's a nearby location where you can use your ascent ability. Use ascent to get to the top. Similarly, jump down from top to activate another terminal and ascend your way to the top. Again, after activating your third terminal, look for the spot to ascend. If you do not find it close to you, just look around. There should be one spot to ascend to the top. After activating the fourth terminal, you will have to ascend to the top to activate the terminal on the top. It will open up the boss fight on the depths. Just dive down there. When you are down there, in the depths, use your bright bloom seeds to light up the area when you reach there. Prepare your armor, weapons and potions to face the level 3 flux construct here. As I've said, I will skip this fight but defeating the boss will let you activate a terminal which will give you a treasure chest containing evil spirit mask. Now only the torso armor remains. Now. Let's go for the Lome Labyrinth Island and for that let's travel to the Ulri Mountain Skyview Tower. When we are launching ourselves from there, we can see that the labyrinth is there exactly at front of us but it's a bit far away. So let's drop down to the nearest island at our right side as I've shown this to the video. When we are at the island, let's use all batteries and attach them in the vehicle that's already there and use it to fly towards the Lome Labyrinth Sky Island directly. With those 6 batteries and a few Zonai charges, you should be able to get in the low gravity zone of the island and then paraglide your way toward the shrine instead of wasting large Zonai charges like me. Now, Activate the shrine and as our previous mages, dive for the labyrinth on the surface. Wait, open your map and quickly mark the spot that I am showing you on this video. Land exactly here when you are near. When you are here, just climb up to the ladder and then keep moving upwards using the stairs and you should get to the shrine and the terminal that will activate the maze on the sky. After activating the terminal, let's complete the blessing shrine as well.
Now, let's travel to the sky island part of this maze. Activate the terminal and then select the quest from your adventure log so it shows you the terminals on the map. I forgot about activating it and I went and climbed the wall instead. But it's okay, I activated the quest after climbing the wall. If you have any travel medallion, you can place it here for your own convenience, so you don't have to climb wall repeatedly. On two terminals, you can actually use the ascend ability to get to the top, but other two terminals won't have some spot to ascend in this maze. In that case, you will have to climb up the climbable wall, which is marked with red ledges. So, similarly to other mages, get to the top by climbing or using travel medallion, and if there's a spot to use ascend ability, then ascend to the top or else climb to the top so you can just drop down to activate other terminals. You can also use Zonai vehicles using auto build if you want. It's all up to you how you want to complete this. If you have successfully activated all four terminals below and then going to the top to activate the final terminal will let you face the level 3 flux construct boss on the depths. Dive down to face it below. Prepare your armor, weapon and buffs uh, and get them ready to face the boss now. As always, when you are at the depths, use bright bloom seeds to light up the area. I will skip this fight as well, as the boss is same on all three mages. So you can just watch my first battle if you want to see the fight. These battles are all same. Defeating this boss will unlock a terminal and activating this terminal will give you a treasure chest. On that treasure chest you will find evil spirit armor. With this armor we have the complete evil spirit armor set. As mentioned before this armor will give you 1.8 times damage on bone weapons such as weapons fused with Molduga jaw, arrows fused with Gibdo bones etc. And this armor also looks pretty cool. I wanted this video to be super beginner friendly. You can complete the labyrinth much faster but for a beginner hopefully they will be easily able to conquer this labyrinth now even with 4 hertz and 1 stamina ring. Thanks for watching guys if you have any suggestion just leave them below. I read each and every comments left on my videos.